Hello, welcome. What I just signed were two different phrases from two different sign languages. Hello, coming from American Sign Language, and welcome, coming from Korean Sign Language. This shows that sign language is not universal. Just like spoken language, there are different sign languages around the world, each with its own grammar and vocabulary. In today's video, I, Shaura, will be guiding you as we look into three examples of distinct sign languages used in different regions. The first one being Basi Sharam Lishu, also known as Malaysian Sign Language or MSL, Korean Sign Language KSL, and American Sign Language ASL. Each of these languages has its, each of these languages has its own unique features and are not mutually intelligible with the other. Did you know that nowadays Korean Sign Language is trending due to the portrayal of sign language in the K-drama loved worldwide, Twinkling Watermelon? How then were sign languages developed? For the Malaysian Sign Language, or Basi Shara Malaysia, this likely developed organically within the Malaysian Deaf community itself, influenced by linguistic and cultural factors. American Sign Language, however, has shown to take root in various European sign languages and indigenous sign systems. It evolved in the early 19th century in the United States, primarily within Deaf schools. Korean Sign Language, however, has shown to emerge quite recently in the late 20th century as deaf communities in South Korea begin to develop their own sign language, distinct from other sign languages, such as Japanese sign language. It is important to note that sign languages often develop independently and are shaped by the unique experiences and needs of the deaf communities within different regions. Now, let's look at a few simple sign language movements that we can utilize in our day-to-day -day lives. Betul. Betul. Sala. Sala. Ye. Atau ye. 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 Ida. 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 Bole. Bole. Tak boleh. Tak boleh. Tolong. Tolong. Ma. Ma. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Sama-sama. Hello. Hello. Samda. Thank you. Thank you. Super so. Good job. Good job. What you say? Please help me. What you say? Please help me. She's on me though. Sorry. Aim. Lover. See you later. Ame ko ha. Kato. Family. Humani Parents Omani Mother Kyongje Brother Samsung Uncle Hello Hello See you later See you later 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up? What's up? How are you? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry. Friend. Friend. Father. Father. Husband. 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 Brother. 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 Sister. Sister. Grandmother. Grandmother. Grandfather. Grandfather. Did you spot any similar signs within other different sign languages? That's because, just like spoken language, sometimes in sign language, certain signs are adapted or use the same signs in different languages. Why then should we learn sign language? Just like learning any other foreign language, when you learn a certain language, it allows you to understand better the individuals who use that language. Therefore, learning sign language helps you foster better can helps you foster deeper connections with individuals who use sign language as their primary form of communication. Whether it's MSL, ASL, or KSL, or any other regional sign language, the effort to learn and use it can greatly enhance your ability to connect and understand the deaf community. Next, learning sign language can enhance your overall communication skills, including body language. This is because in sign language, there's a heavy reliance on nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions and gestures. Therefore, it can translate into a improved communication in general, as you become more attuned to subtle cues and gestures, fostering a deeper understanding into communication and interactions with others in both sign and spoken language contexts. And although there are many other benefits that come with learning sign language, the last one that I'll mention in today's video is that it provides many cognitive benefits. This is because in learning sign language, it engages the various parts of the brain involved in visual perception, spatial skills, and language processing. The act of learning and using sign language can stimulate neural connections, potentially contributing to improved cognitive flexibility, memory, and overall brain health. It provides a unique way to challenge and exercise the mind. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. Hopefully, with everything that you've learned today, you're further encouraged to learn more about sign language. Thank you for watching. See you later. Happy feeds, healthy chats, peace, Bye-bye.